Right, morning everyone. So we're on the uh, home stretch now for milling and uh, <laughs> for scatting her tree like she does every morning. No oh, puss. So yeah, still got about another week's milling, unfortunately. I'm down to the last uh, 30 logs or so. She coming? Yeah. Oh, she overtook us. Yeah, down to the last uh, 30 logs, I think. Um, I average about three, uh, sorry, three, four or five logs a day. So I've got about a week's milling left still. So I just got to push on, get that done, because I don't want to have to do it while we're framing, really. So yeah, it's another video of milling, I'm afraid. But yeah, one more week, and we'll have it done. Right, first little job to do is try and get this fuel tank on a bit better. The uh, bottom bracket is snapped as well. The little lug snapped off. Um, so I'm just going to weld that back and then uh, that should hold it until I get a top bracket sorted out. Hold it. All right, let's get this tank back on. That's got to sit in there. Let's just get that little pipe on the back there. Get that off of there. Get that clip back on. All right, there we go, back on. So I've got one bracket on there. One snapped off, but that's all right. Uh, we'll be back running. It's pretty well on there now. Aid from Aid's workshop, the guy who uh, made the uh, um, bearing rollers, the guide rollers for the uh, band, has actually got one of these brackets, he says. So uh, might be able to get one of them off him. So, yeah, let's get to work. Let's just come down here and get some water for the uh, blade lubrication. Things are so difficult one-handed with a camera. This is the uh, culvert pipe under our gate. So uh, even though it hasn't rained for like, well, ages really, nothing significant anyway, just dampness. This is uh, spring water. This comes from a spring from the middle of this really boggy area a few fields away. So I found the um, water is really, really essential. Like, without it, the blade gets really clogged up with sawdust. So you've really got to make sure you've got plenty of good flow water. If I fill this up, it lasts me all day. So it's quite a good system actually. I just, I, I just had this laying around, it's an old fire extinguisher. And uh, yeah, it turns out to be basically exactly the right size for a full day's milling. But because of doing these repairs and I'm a bit late starting and it's a Saturday, I'll probably only do a couple of logs today, so one watering can will be enough. Another thing I want to do to this mill, when I take it back down, is weld some uh, brackets and brushes on there or something because you get all these bits of wood stuck on here, compressed in, and then before you know it, it's really difficult to push the thing along. And then you oil the tracks, and then that makes even more sawdust stick to it. So, um, yeah, little brushes there would be great, just to keep them free of uh, sawdust that gets compressed into them. So honestly, the difference between having the sawdust on there and not is massive, like I can barely push it when it's on there. So yeah, that's another design change I'd like to do at some point.
that's waste. This is for resawing. I've got the other two because I've got in the front of it. Check this out, I've just cut a new, uh, another timber. And look at the size of these sap pockets in here. They're just continuously squeezing out. Look, look at that. That is an incredible amount of sap. I've done this twice already, it just keeps coming out. Look at that. Unbelievable, and it just keeps coming out. That's gonna make that timber a bit questionable, to be honest. I have to use it on something that's not too important if at all, a bit annoying. All right, I think I'll call that a day for today. I've done four logs, but I've only put two decent timbers in the pile, unfortunately. Uh, they just weren't uh, sufficiently good timbers. Even the ones I put in the pile weren't, weren't the best. But I've cut a load of uh, two by fours for temporary building. And uh, I've got two more questionable size logs. I know one there's all right, the other one's a bit small. But uh, then I start getting into some quite big stuff, which adds its own level of uh, difficulty. But yeah, I've got temporary building timbers and, and a couple in the pile. They're just slow and steady, one foot in front of the other every day, just keep pushing on. Eventually I'll get there. This timber here is going to be a right pain in the ass because it's uh, it's got this bit of ring shake here and it goes all the way down through to the other end so I'm going to have to cut this section out the middle I'll just have that out and just ditch that and then try and get some timbers out of them it'll only be purlins or something it's a shame, big waste of a lovely log I'll get a really nice timber and a couple of purlins out of it but this ring shake through here that's a separated growth ring that travels through the whole log, so it's got no strength in it. So I've got to take it out. Yeah, I'll try and make the most of it. I've got to try and get 
get this hook out before it uh, goes too far. There, we go. there she goes. Uh, hey everyone, it is the next day. It's been raining this morning, that's why I haven't done filming yet. But I've just got this uh, big dauber on here and um, I've got a big couple of big slabs cut off which are going to make into wind brace braces and one purling which are going to get resawn there. And then I'm going to try and get two 8x8s out of here. So we've got one with a uh, heart in centre and one that's, you know, heart not in centre. Um, which isn't ideal for what I'm doing, it'd be better if they're consistent but um, I'd just use it for something that's not as important you know, it'd, be, it'd just be a waste not to get that nice timber out of that piece of wood there so yeah, I've got it set up, um, yeah, ready to make a cut Alright, just loading up another big boy. This is kind of getting to the uh, sort of limit of the mill really. We can go a little bit bigger than this, but not a huge amount. Not because of the weight, just because of the height and the width.
this is getting resawn into purlins. Oh my god. So uh, got that. So the first piece we took off is going to go to two by fours, resawn to two by fours for the temporary structure. The second piece we took off will be two 100 by 150 purlins. Um, now this along here, and this there's a bit of waste, and then there's a 200 by 250 uh, timber, and then. We've got, um, might get one more purling off to the side of it here, ideally. But uh, I've got to try and flip this, I can't do it on my own. So this is a... This is a bit of a technique I use to do this, but I don't like doing it. Because it's... Uh, it, so it pings off, you can't get out the way of it really. So I'm not too fond of it, but I don't have much of a choice. It does work, just got to be very wary of something pinging off. I'll try and keep out of the way if I can. See what I mean? I don't like it. It does work though. <laughs> that there for now. So that is our uh, nice uh, 200 by 250 timber and then 
that's going to be resawn now to a purlin. That's going to be resawn now for two two by fours for the temporary structure. And then this big boy down here is going to be resawn to two purlins. And then those other bits can be resawn to two by fours. So we're going to get, I think, two, four, five, five two by fours, three purlins, and uh, eight by ten out of that, which is good going. That's pretty efficient. One purlin. Right, another bit resawn, so that's waste. But it's not waste, it'll probably be a spacer in the stack at some point. And that's two by four for the temporary building. And that's another two by four for the temporary building. Right. up another one. These are two by fours and that's purling, two purling. Waste. Oh. Ah, dear me. Right, I'll get those two purlins in the stack and then let's resaw some more two by fours. Right, morning everyone. So it is a nice day. We had a pretty decent sized storm for the last few days and I haven't been able to do a lot. Uh, ground's still really wet, so I can't carry on milling even though I'd like to. But uh, what I can do is get the temporary building started. So that's what I'm going to do today. It's just some uh, basic two by four frame with a polytunnel plastic over it for us to work under because we can't do marking and stuff like that on timbers that are soaking wet and working in the rain. And I can't afford to pay people to sit around if it's raining. So we've got to build this building um, to work under. It's, there's no, no way around it. We've got to have it. So that's what we're going to do today. Get that done, hopefully. So now that we've had a, a load of rain, obviously I've not got drainage in the back yet there yet, so that's going to change things a lot. But uh, it seems like I've got a slightly low spot at the back here, so I just need to sort that out quickly before I enclose it all. It's just going to be a pain working in that. Um, like I say, it's all just running off this field at the moment because the drainage isn't in. Oh, 
Right, that's got it to uh, start to drain at least. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. See if that dries it out. And I'll uh, keep keep doing that as and when the puddles form, and hopefully we'll get it flat then using the water. Right, that's draining now. It's uh, I can see it flowing down the track still, so and it's looking drier. So hopefully that's worked. Right, start making this frame. So I've got a little drawing here of uh, what we're going to make. So that's it. It's got about three metres headroom in the middle, two on the edges. Quite low profile because it's quite a windy site, so, but it should be enough for us to work under at least. Right, so it's just screwed together, end grain, obviously not strong, and it's got no um, lateral support, so... Got some plywood plates, this is leftover plywood from the forms and the screws that I took out of the forms. Just trying to reuse everything. You know, I don't want this building to be a costly thing because it's all got to come apart. Now, I'm not going to glue it because I want to be able to take it all apart and reuse all this stuff. Right, I've got them uh, up on a couple of stands. Just so I can get to the uh, back sides to uh, get another plate on them because they're obviously quite wiggly. Right, I'm getting it. Pretty much there to be honest. Hey everyone, so uh, yesterday I got this frame up on my own and then I managed to get these other four frames done before it started raining. But it's uh, raining now and it's forecast to be basically pissing it down all day today so I'm not going to do much filming, I just need to get these up. I've got some help coming, we're just going to put them up by hand quickly and get out of the rain because it's really cold and wet and miserable and horrible so yeah I'm just going to carry them in place, lift them up by hand and, uh, and get it up. Hey everyone, so uh, managed to get that stood up. It's not finished yet, there's loads left to do. I was hoping to have it done for this video, but uh, last two days it's rained so much. Like it rained more in the last couple of days than it rained for all of December, January and February. So I haven't been able to get out here. Also ended up putting a big spike of wood through my knuckle that's now gone a bit infected. So that's really hurting, I can barely bend my finger. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to plod along with this slowly and steadily and try and work around my bad finger but um, yeah, it's a bit of a hindrance because this needs to be covered on Tuesday 
so a bit under pressure but we'll get it done i'm gonna get out here fill in put some bits across ready to stretch the uh, polytunnel plastic over it and then uh, we're going to start framing. As of Tuesday, we're going to get timbers in there, get set up, and then we're going to start doing the uh, timber frame. So yeah, it's all going ahead. All right, but I'm going to conclude this video and then we'll carry on uh, next week. Yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.